Here's one basic caregiver self skill that you just have to develop to get through the tough days. Have you ever heard that gratitude changes attitude and thought to yourself, yeah, right. You know, oftentimes it's natural for us to reject such cliches, but that doesn't mean that their truths still don't hold. You know, it's easy on the journey of special needs to get lost in the negative emotions that lead to anger, resentment, and even sometimes depression. But gratitude can help us to solve the problem of daily hopelessness that sometimes we experience as parents on the special needs journey. Gratitude can be our best defense against life's emotional battlefields. And research studies show us that gratitude can improve your physical health Gratitude can improve your psychological health, and gratitude can improve your spiritual health. And experts tell us that if we can just find one thing, one thing every day in times of experiencing hardship or loss, that that one thing can open us to recovery. Hey, listen, gratitude isn't a cure-all. It's not a one-time solution, but gratitude is a basic caregiver self-care skill that you just have to develop. And why is that? because gratitude can get you through the hard stuff. And as a parent to a child with special needs, you're either coming out of hard stuff, you're in the middle of hard stuff, or hard stuff's coming. Hey, I've got a great resource for you. It's a book called 1,000 Gifts by Ann Voskamp. And this book is about a celebration of grace and the recognition of the power of gratitude. And Ann asks the question in this book, how do we find joy in the midst of debt and drama, and daily duties, and I would even add disabilities. What does the Christ life look like when your days are long and gritty and sometimes even dark? Is God even there? In her book, Anne invites us to embrace everyday blessings and to begin to embark on a transformative journey of journaling God's everyday blessings for you so that you can experience gratitude. Hey, the bottom line for the book is that by the end, Anne challenges the reader to find three things every day that are a blessing. And so I've been keeping a journal. I'm not much of a journaler, but I've been trying this. For the last 99 days, I've been finding three things throughout the course of the day, just three, that are a blessing. Now listen, at first that was not easy for me. I typically don't keep my eyes open for those kind of things. But now that I've been doing it, for about three months, I'm finding that it's becoming a habit. For example, the three things that I found today that are a blessing, things that I can dwell on to get me through the hard times called summer because the boys aren't in school very much. Three things. Number one, a strong and courageous wife. That's a blessing. Number two, a warm cup of coffee first thing in the morning, lots of caffeine. That's a blessing. And then number three, because it's summer school and the days are shortened, my boys have arrived from school today safe and sound. Those three things are a blessing. Those are three things that I can be grateful for this day. So let me ask you, what would make your list today? What would be three things that by the end of today you could have on a list to be grateful for? All right, so that takes me to the next step for you, which is just simply this. Start a gratitude list. Every day, start to look for three things that you can be grateful for. Now listen, that's not going to be easy. Sometimes it takes a little bit of effort, but I guarantee you, you will find three things that are blessings that God has bestowed upon you, regardless of where you're at on the special needs journey. Listen, I want to thank you for everything that you do as a parent to a child with special needs, and I'm interested in what you have to say. Don't just sit there, think about what we talked about today, write a comment down, share a blessing, and while you're at it, make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can receive notice when our video comes out next week.